So while my main AV man technician is getting things set up here, Daniel, the, uh, I want to tell you what we're doing with People Browser. And by the way, it's People Browser. We drop the E, very Flickr-esque, call it Web 1.5. But we've um, announced a couple of things using our intelligent, smart, and back-end data cache. So we've got a warehouse full of data and different lenses to point into that data. So what we're going to debut today is our um, search product. And we're almost there. Oh, yeah, things are happening. Yeah, they, they give us these laptops with 17-inch screens, and then the projectors <laughs> overhead don't allow such uh, robust resolutions. So there we go. So people browser without the E. You guys can play along at home if you have internet connectivity. But the um, live search is what we're going to show today. And it allows you to search not just Twitter, but via this drop-down on the left-hand side, friend feed, Facebook. Of course, with sites like Facebook, you need to log in and have credentials. But very quickly, you can do mixes and blends of any Web 2.0 social property. So one of the things that I want to do is a search on, let's use Rackspace. So Rackspace is a co-location facility. And I don't want to do just a, a normal search. I want to do an authoritative search. So I want to see people that are having conversations about Rackspace that have a, a high level of authority or you know, someone that's been talking about that product or service for a while. So I just do the drop down for search on the right and pick authority search. And what People Browser does is in the background in the data cache, we're looking at every conversation that's happening and seeing how many times people communicate about that particular topic. So in this case, uh, Scobalizer obviously has a relationship with them with Building 43. He's communicated about them probably more times than none, but Robert, if you're here, you're uh, kind of slack, and it's been a day since you've said anything about him. But below that, Chris Miller, Nick Longo. So now I can see people that aren't just jumping into a conversation. They've had conversations over a while with it. And if I want to get back to what's going on in real time, just uh, do the drop down on the right-hand side again and be able to pull down a more recent search of stuff that's happening in real time. And the way this operates is you don't need to refresh it. So when we're in this normal search mode, conversations will start flowing in uh, real time. Another thing that's really cool is if I click on the conversation bubbles, I can pull in a thread. So finally, you can have threaded and nested conversations within a Twitter stream. And if I like what's going on there, I can hover over the person's head and either reply to them or retweet them as well. So it's a full communication suite as well as a strong search utility. So if you know what you're looking for, this is all great, but a lot of times I like to find out what's happening outside of my scope of, of knowledge or influence. So that's done with this Live Trends button on the right-hand side. And People Browser lets you do live trend searches based upon words that are being used real-time, hashtags. So if we do a hashtag drop-down, we can pick and choose. We should see uh, crunch up in here. And not only within the hour by hour, but 10 minutes and even one minute increment. So it's a quick look at conversations. Let's see, do we see crunch up in there? It was trending earlier. Anyway, but as you hover your mouse, there it is. So trending over the past three, eight, four hours. And this is my hour by hour view. Um, let's drop to a, a shorter view there and see what's going on. So we do one minute, and now we should be dominating the, uh, the tag sphere here. What's cool is you can hover over the word, and it highlights it. So you're able to see at a kind of a nutshell how it's trending over those, uh, uh, whatever time period you select. So another thing that's really cool is you can, you, see, tweeting? you can see which at names are popular. So if uh, someone is being retweeted a lot or if someone's going out of control with Twitter, you can see what's happening. So this is the second day in a row that Miley Cyrus has been one of the top trending usernames on uh, Twitter. So pretty exciting there. So what's really important about all this data and ingesting all this information is what we can do with brands. So we've got the ability to do what we call an industry billboard and be able to generate reports based upon anything that's happening. The, um, the one I like to demo now is the airline industry because I think they were really early on with getting into Twitter and listening to user complaints, um, being able to communicate what's going on. So if I've got um, 
the uh, ability to show here this little drop down. So I've got the last 10 tweets, green positive, red negative, and we're using some algorithms to determine whether it's a positive or negative reference. And you can see the uh, most conversed about airline right now is Virgin America. And if we scroll down, you can see um, how each of those airlines rank in there. United just got all of the, uh, the buzz recently about the uh, uh, mishandling the luggage with the uh, guitar. So you can see a little more red in there than Virgin America. But this is the suite of services that People Browser is offering. We're really concentrating on housing this data in the back end. And we search and index this database every second. So it's, uh, I know that kind of the oxymoron is if it's search, it's not really real time. But we're trying to index fast enough so it can be a real time uh, operation. So check it out, peoplebrowser.com, drop the E. Terrific. Thank you.